Now, if you have struggled forever to shallow out this club, get it coming from the inside, and really get it in that slot through contact, this is gonna be the perfect video for you. You see, what most people do is kind of a reverse type figure eight drill. Here's what I mean by that. When they do the backswing, we start to use our hands and our wrist and we pull this club to the inside and that gets this club working to the inside. That's the start of our figure eight. As we start down, we come a little steep and over the top. That's kind of like a loop, the first half of the figure eight. And then as you come through, you slice or pull the club across the golf ball and then it finishes up over here. So it's almost like the club is going inside, over the top, and then looping around. Almost like a little bit of a figure eight type motion. If I just kept that moving, it would look something like this, right? So I'm making a little figure eight pattern there as I'm swinging. That's the pattern that most golfers have. And here's the reason for that. It just feels a lot more powerful to pull that club with the right arm and start to suck it from the inside. We know we can't swing down on that plane, so naturally we kind of loop it to the top. So if you're right hand dominant, then you're pulling the club back inside like this, kind of flaring it open, and then that starts the figure eight on the pattern. Once it gets on the pattern, it's really tough to get off of it. Now, to break that pattern, what you need to do is the exact opposite. You need to get the reverse of that so that you can feel the club really shallow out to the extreme and almost make it impossible not to get the club shallow from the inside and releasing. So all I'm gonna do is reverse that pattern. Super simple drill here. I'm gonna take the club back outside the opposite direction. So I was doing this. I'm gonna do a little bit of a Matt Wolf to the outside, let it drop to the inside, swing out to the right. Again, so that's the opposite of coming steep and over the top. Now I'm way shallow swinging out to the right, and then I'm gonna let it loop around again. So if I did that, that kind of pattern, it would be the opposite. So I'd have a little figure eight kind of going this way. I'm just changing the direction of the figure eight. Now you may be saying, Clay, this sounds silly. I had one problem, so now I'm just doing another problem to fix it. It sounds like it's a mess. Well, here's the cool thing about this. You can't overdo it. I never see anybody that overdoes that and has their swing look anything like Matt Wolf. If we do this little figure eight drill, now just make some of these swings where I'm coming out and going like that. When you actually get up to the golf ball and make a swing, it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna look like a completely normal swing. You're gonna hit it really solid because you're getting that club slotted from the inside, you're getting lag, you're having that nice tight draw on there like that. So there, I feel like I just stepped up. That one actually went fantastic, 218 yards with a six iron, and I didn't even feel like I had to swing hard. A lot of that is because I've got that club looping from the inside, on plane, lots of lag, and then it releases from there. So there's one big key that you have to do with this. When you're doing this drill, most everybody gets this half of the drill correct. When I swing through, you're gonna to need to feel like your arms fly away from your body much more than you've ever felt before. So in order to release that club out, you're gonna feel like your arms are wide and there's a lot of space here between your arms and your club and your body. So my club is very far away from me. There's a lot of gap here. My elbows, my elbow pits are almost getting a little bit of air here. And as I swing through, then I'm letting the club loop around this way. So it's that, if we're looking from the down the line view, the club is coming around that way. You'll notice that with a lot of players, especially Tiger, in his heyday, when he would get that club to release, he would get it here and it almost looked like it kind of looped around this way as he finished. And he got that kind of finish with the club down the fairway. That was kind of his textbook move, the way that it looked like his pattern was. I'm teaching the same thing here. So get the club to go back out, first half of the eight. From here, I'm gonna feel like the club comes down this wall, way shallow, way from the inside. I'm gonna feel like I then swing toward that wall. My arms get a lot of extension. The club comes up, out, and high, and then it loops around to my finish. Get a good five reps in on that. Just feel comfortable with it. Feel like you can make that motion without really having to strain to do it. And then we're gonna set up to the golf ball, create that same feeling. And again, swing as hard as you want to. You're gonna be from the inside, you're gonna be in the slot. And you're gonna get that ball to be nice and straight, even a little bit of a draw on it every time. So we can see there again, nice easy swing. I'm actually a little, a little farther, 220 with the six iron. I don't know if I've ever hit one that far. Now, there is one thing that's a big problem for a lot of people with this. You see, we've been taught to square up this club by rolling the forearms. That's actually the wrong way to do it. If we've been rolling the forearms to square the face, 
We can't get in the slot. We can't get from the inside. It's the exact opposite of what we need to be doing. I have a method that I call the anti-roll method. I'm going to teach you the right way to square it up, just like the pros. And I'm going to play a preview of this video here in just one second. All you need to do is go ahead and click one of the part cards that pops up on your screen, or down below in the description, click one of those, uh, the link down there, and I'm going to share with you the anti-roll method. It's going to tell you the right way to square up the face. That way it's easy to pair up with what we just talked about here, to get in the slot, to release it out in front of you, just like we saw with Tiger Woods and basically every great player that's ever played it. So let me share that with you right now. I can't wait to share it with you. It's a really awesome, cool drill. It's going to be very eye-opening. Let's get started right now. Here's the bottom line. If you've been taught to roll the club in the early downswing, that causes the shaft to get steep. And that steep club causes all your problems. It causes you to hit it way behind the big hitters and way inconsistent with your quality of strikes. So you're in the tall grass and the trees and the hazards all day long. Now the great news is this. There's really only two pieces that you need to know to fix all these problems. The first one is we need to learn the proper way to square up the club face. Instead of rolling the forearms and getting steep, there's another way that the pros do this. Once you learn this right way to square up the club face, then you can shallow out from the inside and everything starts to fit together. Now I'm gonna teach you this right now in what I call the anti-roll method. You may also hear this called the motorcycle move or the tour twist, but let's walk through exactly how to do that. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and go kind of in the last parallel in the downswing. So here, I want my hips to go ahead and be opening up. I want my club to be parallel with the ground and I want my hands to be in front of my right thigh. Now, when I take my grip, you're gonna notice that when I do this, the club face is basically straight up and down. So if I'm looking at it from this angle, you'll see the face is straight up and down and my logo of my glove is pointed out in front of me. Now from there,